Hey guys, I'm Grunt, and welcome to the ninth episode of Learning the Maps. This time we'll be taking a look at one of the original maps, Oregon. As always, timestamps are in the description, let's get started. We'll start outside with spawns and exterior cameras. The first spawn is the junkyard spawn in the west. You'll spawn in the back of a junkyard, and heading east will take you to the south side of the map. Off to the north, you'll see the small tower and the rest of the map. With the main entrance off to the far east. Heading back over to the small tower, you'll find the first exterior camera. Now, when you spawn a junkyard, make sure you're watching the showers window and the dorms window above that, because I see a lot of people get taken out from these windows early in the round all the time. A way to counter this is to come around this side of the caravan, pray there's no peaks from the small tower, and you can quick peek around this wall or rappel up and take them out from this little slit. So you should also watch the big tower for peaks as well. Anyway, coming around the north side of the map, there's another window into the small tower, and we can also get into dining through that door, or up to kids. And over to the east is the big tower and construction spawn. But first we'll go to the street spawn in the southeast. Clearly you're going to spawn on the road and off to the north we can get to the main entrance and garage. This time you'll need to watch the balcony for peaks from the master bedroom, which is another very common spawn peak. You might also get a tachanka in garage, though that's pretty rare. Going west will take us back to the junkyard spawn. And following the building around to the east will take us to our second camera. Even further east, there's a few more paths back to the spawn. And off to the north, we can get a good look at the big tower, and we can get to the garage door, and the construction site off to the north. Which is our last spawn, and it's in the northeast. You'll be greeted by a lovely stretch of dirt, and immediately you should look up to the end to check for a runout. This is basically like the back alley runout on bank. If you're not ready for it, you're dead. We can follow this path, which takes us up to the east side of the map, giving us a good view of the big tower and the armory slash garage. And if you were to go further south, you'd end up at the street spawn again. Heading back north, you'll notice a door into the big tower, which you can get a filthy angle into even if it's barricaded. Very easy to use as an attacker, very hard to see as a defender. Following the tower around to the west will take us back outside kids and dining. And you'll also find the final outside camera for Oregon. And with that, we'll head down into the construction zone, and we'll enter the basement through the bunker tunnel. But first, as always, in the top left, you'll see the in-game name for a room, 
Under that, in round brackets, will be another name for that room, callouts in square brackets, and more specific callouts in curly brackets. Like I said, we'll be starting from construction in the bunker tunnel. The tunnel takes us right into blue, which is one of the three main ways you will attack downstairs. Blue takes us into red hall, which takes us into the basement hallway, which has the back stairs, another one of the main ways you will attack downstairs. These take us up to the big tower. You could also see someone hiding under the stairs, so look out for that. The basement hallway also takes us into electrical, which has breakable walls into red and blue. And there's also a hatch above you. Supply room houses both a bomb site that it shares with laundry and a fused hostage. From here we can get into the supply closet where you'll see mirrors looking into laundry and up through the laundry hatch. Supplier also has a breakable wall which is commonly used as a rotation into laundry. And another common mirror spot is on this wall. It gives you a good view of the back stairs. And this will usually be paired with opening this wall so that it can be shot through. And you can look into electrical and blue if it gets opened. Though you should be wary of grenades coming from the hatch in the hallway. The final room downstairs is laundry. It has both a secure site and the bomb site that it shares with supply room. There's a little side area where you can hide if you'd like, and there's also the wall into supply room. There's also that hatch we saw earlier. And there's some stairs going up to the first floor. Now if you're playing bomb, be aware that usually the plant will go down on this washing machine, if they're going for a laundry plant. This is because it can easily be seen from the hatch above. And with that, we can head up to the first floor. At the top of the laundry stairs, you'll enter the lobby, which around to the east takes us into garage, which is a solid place for the attackers to enter from. You just need to be wary about rotations from upstairs. And if they're going to peek with the chunker, this is probably where it's going to happen from. Back into lobby, it has the first interior camera. And also the first hatch. This is the one down into laundry. Now, by far the most common way to attack laundry is to get a hard breacher pop the hatch and the wall in classroom. What this does is gives us a safer way to look at the rotation wall in laundry while your team pushes the objective. At the top of the laundry stairs there's also a breakable wall. And by the main door we've got the armory stairs which go up to armory and the second floor. And off to the west, we've got Classroom. Which has a window looking out to the school bus. And that wall which we're going to use to look into laundry. Moving into the hallway. If we continue to follow it around, we can get into Bathroom. Which has two walls into Kitchen. Continuing to follow the hallway will take us to the bottom of the white stairs with another window near the school bus and the white stairs will take us up to dorms The hallway also has the second inside camera
continuing through the hallway will take us into showers. When attacking a dining objective, or even a dorm's objective above, it's important to get control of showers as it limits the amount of rotation the defenders can use to get back to site. And you might also see some runouts or peaks from here over to Junkyard at the start of the round. Moving into Small Tower. There's two windows looking out of the Junkyard. And some stairs taking us up to the windows, overlooking the dorm's balcony. And outside dining. So you might notice that this footage is pre-Wind Bastion, and in Wind Bastion most of the maps got better lighting. Before Wind Bastion, you could break the desk and hide in the darkness. Now it's not so effective because it's a lot brighter. But if you still want to try it, by all means. Heading over to the dining room. It's got a secure site and a bomb site that it shares with Kitchen. There's a wall into Small Tower, which is a common way to enter the site. The other most common way being the outside door. On the other side we've got some bulletproof tables and the door into Kitchen, where you might see some mirrors looking into dining. You just have to be careful of the wall in Pantry that looks directly at that wall. And there's also a hatch in Pantry as well. Kitchen also houses a sacrifice and the bomb that it shares with the dining. And it's also got those walls in the bathroom. Back into the hallway, over in the lobby we can get into the meeting hall, which has a secure site and a bullet bag. When it's not an objective, a lot of roamers are probably going to utilise meeting hall in some way, shape or form, no matter the objective. So as an attacker you're going to want to have some form of control of meeting, no matter what. There's also a hatch into electrical. and a hatch into the basement hallway, in the corner near supply room. In the back there's a stage, with a wall into the back stairs. Moving into the rear stage, we've got the back stairs taking us down near the red hall. And you can bust this open to chuck a C4 through if need be. Rear stage also has the third interior camera. And a door out to construction. And now we can head up to the second floor. So it should be noted that the big tower has a bomb site that it shares with the rear stage down below, but it is probably the most difficult site to defend on Oregon. Anywho, we've got windows looking over to the top of armory stairs. Which you can use to cut off rotation when your team is pushing a dorm's objective. On the other side there's a window looking over to the middle of dorms and kids. There's also a ladder taking us up to what is technically the third floor but I'll include it here because it's so small. The top of big tower is where a lot of peaks will happen throughout the round, especially in the middle of the round when you're trying to focus on other parts of the map.
There's also a little beam where you can hide or maybe get the drop on someone coming up from the back stairs. Moving into the attic, it connects big tower and armory hallway with the entire floor being breakable and the hatch, all looking down into meeting hall. If you're going to be in the attic, you need to be aware of this window. Very easy for an attacker to pick you off from. At the south side, you'll find the ladder into meeting and the wall into the armory hallway, which has the final camera for Oregon. And this also takes us to the top of the armory stairs. Armory is a strong spot for either side to have when the objective is upstairs or even downstairs in laundry. Because you can open up the floor just outside to see the bottom of the laundry stairs. Or you can even look down to the front door in lobby. Now, if you're going to be pushing dorms from the east side, the bedroom should be on your to-do list. You can gain access from the balcony overlooking the street spawn. And you can use it to get into closet, which is right above classroom, and has a wall right into dorms. The floor and bedroom can also be opened up to get a view of the front door. Now for dorms. It houses all three sites, including a bomb site that it shares with kids. It's got that wall in the closet, and the window back over to Big Tower. Kids is basically just an extension of dorms. If you're defending dorms, you're also defending kids. It's got the final hatch for Oregon. This one goes into Pantry. The west side of dorms is usually where most of the action happens, mainly because of the big window out onto the dorms balcony. Most of dorms is above hallway in the first floor, with the west side also being above bathroom. And this door will take us to the top of white stairs. And if we head across the dorms balcony, we can get back to the top of the small tower. Now we'll head up to the roof. We're going to start on the north side of the big tower. You can use this side of big tower to get some really long angles over to the west side of the map or to get into the top of big tower. You probably won't do too much from on top of Big Tower, except fall off and annoy your teammates who now have to come and rescue you. You can safely drop off this side though. And this will take us right above the attic, which has the two window pathways on either side. Over to the south you'll find a useless chunk of roof. And off to the front is the balcony outside bedroom. And you can also use this spot to maybe chuck a grenade into dorms. You can also use most of the west side of the main roof to look into the attic, which is especially useful for meeting and dorms objectives. Over to the dorm's balcony, there's a northern section where you can look out to Big Tower and one of the small tower windows. The main part of the dorm's roof will be used to look into dorms, just keep an ear out for a defender in the small tower behind you.
On top of the small tower, you can look directly into dorms. You just need to be wary of the big tower. Oregon is special in that as an attacker you can take out every camera from outside without having to be Twitch or Thatcher. The first one is the street spawn camera, very easy. The next one you can spray through the lobby door and it's behind that light. The third one can be taken out from the window near the bus. Fourth is the junkyard camera. The fifth one is all the way over at the rear stage window. Just spray into the back corner. Sixth is the construction spawn. And the seventh one is the kind of annoying one. You want to climb up to the armory window and spray it around roof level and hopefully you'll hit the camera as long as they don't reinforce that wall. Now let's move on to bomb sites. The first pair is in kids and dorms. The second lot's in kitchen and dining. The third pair is in laundry and supply room. And the final pair is the big tower and the rear stage. Secure sites now. The first one's in dorms. Second one's in dining. third one is in meeting. And the last one is in laundry. And last and certainly least, hostages. The first hostage is in dorms. Second fuse targets in the kitchen. The third bullet bag is in meeting. And the final hostage is waiting to get shot in the supply room. And that's it for Oregon. After this there'll be a compilation of peaks, runouts and useful rotations where you'll see the attacker's perspective first, followed by the defenders. Before I go though, make sure you vote on which map you want to see next, and if this did help, leave a like, subscribe, all that, and I'll see you on the next map.